Hello, Colin and Shreya Lay here with Lay Roots, which is an amazing asset protection law firm where we help people protect themselves from stupid lawsuits. Today, Shreya Lay. Yes. We are here to answer a question, a burning question that I've seen on the internet. (laughs) I have talked to people about this in some form. Yeah. The question is, can I live in a property owned by an LLC? Right. And a variation of this that we've encountered is, let's say, uh, so ADUs, additional dwelling units, are all the rage here in the Pacific Northwest. Maybe you build one of those on your property and then you move into it and then you rent out or Airbnb the primary residence home or vice versa. Maybe you live in the big house before we little one. Before we get to that, though, <laughs> if you have a question about your asset protection plan, setting yourself up to protect yourself from stupid lawsuits, please mm-hmm. visit livemorecarefree.com. What do they do there, Shreya? They can book some time to talk to me. That's livemorecarefree.com. Airbnb. Right. How are they doing this past year? All right. Yeah. I don't know. Um, They're pivoting. That's the word. My father had an Airbnb and he got banned from doing, well, everyone did. I mean, for COVID. And then I think just in general, where Mm -hmm. he lives, they're like, we're sick of Airbnbs. Yeah, they've been under siege, but I think as a company, they went through some sort of liquidity yeah. event. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, but people are wondering, they want to protect their property. They don't want someone to mm-hmm. fall. They come to stay the night in their They bedroom. go out, get drunk, fall borrow, over. Borrow a bicycle from yeah. them. <laughs> One of these nice amenities you offered them, and they go and hurt themselves. I know. And they want to see you. So people are like... How do I protect my home? Mm-hmm. And and then also get some of that, you know, additional income stream. How do I do both these things? Absolutely. So let's just say it depends. And it depends. that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Your friendly lawyer is here. <laughs> I mean, so we, we definitely recommend people uh, first get the right type of insurance. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure that the, the people... Per- providing your policy, know that you are renting out the yeah, room. Yeah, make so sure they know what you're up to. You want to make sure that your policy covers strangers coming into your home mm-hmm. or renting that adu dadu mm-hmm. in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. For putting People their home, want, I mean, that's their immediate reaction. They're like, LLCs, they're great for rental properties, investment properties. I'm putting my home into an LLC. Yeah. But... We generally don't recommend it to people because my concern, well, one, so you have your insurance um, as your first line of defense, but then my concern is that you may lose some benefit Mm -hmm. from having a primary residence in your own name. That's one thing. So like, you know, um, you get some tax tax deductions, yeah, capital gains exemption, that type of thing. Also homestead exemption, homestead exemption. You don't want to risk losing that type of guaranteed protection Mm -hmm. because you put it in an LLC. The other issue is put it in an LLC, but it's your primary residence. Like it's like questionable. Is this really a business? And so, you know, if it comes under attack by some attorney that's trying to sue you, they may be able to just pierce right through that LLC bubble. That you've created. Fox. Slash it. Yeah. Slash it open. Pop that bubble. Get right into the juice there. Mm-hmm. Um, sure, yeah. <laughs> I had one more. I had one more zinger. Okay. What's the other one? Oh. oh. The other issue is, can you? Are you allowed to transfer oh, your property? Yes. Many mortgage companies prohibit you from transferring your real estate into an LLC. If you do that, there's this do on sale clause thing that we've talked about endlessly, and they will make you pay off your mortgage, basically. Colin, I am hearing a lot of negatives here. Does that mean that I just give up? No. No protection for me. You can have more protection. I mean, 
an LLC is just one tool that provides some protection. Um, most of our clients are putting their primary residence into an asset protection trust, mm -hmm. which preserves all of those tax benefits we talked about. Um, your insurance company, or sorry, your mortgage company can't prevent you from transferring your home into a trust. So that's the solution typically yeah. for people that are looking to protect their home, that they are perhaps renting a room out on the yeah. the platforms, the Verbos, the Airbnbs, <laughs> the couch surfing. Anyone still no. do that? No. no yeah. I mean, I think that's free anyway. Yeah, you don't get any money for that. Yeah. <laughs> Just a friend. Yeah. Just a new friend for the night. Yeah. That sounds bad, but yes. <laughs> All right, Shreya. Well, thank you. Yeah. Quite informative. Glad to be doing this again. Hey, you, viewer, if you enjoyed this, mm -hmm. take a second, hit that like button, consider subscribing. It really helps us. We enjoy it. Yeah, and, and then maybe friend. leave like a comment talking about how you really enjoy having me in the videos with Colin. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Don't do that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>